breathe. Is that your voice? Yes. And are you speaking to Ray? It's possible. I think there's a response in there, and it sounds like it's my voice. Light. Darkness. Is it you that's saying... It's time for the Jedi to end. It is. So what has happened to you Well, to reach this point? I think that's the only story point that's in the teaser. I can't really describe more, but it was as shocking to me to read what Ryan had written as I'm sure it will be for the audience. I think how The, the Last Jedi starts and the journey we go on is perhaps unexpected. Do you make a turn to the dark side? Is that uh, possible? It's possible. Anything's possible. The first scene of the movie, produced by ABC's parent company Disney, picks up exactly where The Force Awakens left off. Ray finds the elusive Luke Skywalker who's gone into exile. Literally a cliffhanger. I love that, the mm -hmm. metaphor of me standing on a cliff. When you guys read the script, were there some big surprises in there even for you? Yeah. I went to Ryan's office and I was like, we need to have a talk about right. what's happening here. When I read eight, I told Ryan, I fundamentally disagree with virtually everything you've decided about my character. But might be a good sign, because I was really wrong about Seven. I said, when I turn around, the audience is going to hoot and holler because it's such an obvious cheat. I didn't foresee John Williams' incredible music and the shots of Daisy, the build-up to it all. So I was never happier to be wrong.